All right, Dr. Haas, how bad are these for you on a scale of one to 10? Vaping. 10 out of 10. It's completely bad. It disrupts your blood vessels and also your lung function completely. At a cellular level, it disrupts a lot of processes on a cell. Sleep deprivation. 10 out of 10. Sleep is when your body recovers, grows, repairs. And if you're not getting enough sleep, your body's not capable of doing this. It's gonna disrupt your hormones as well and your circadian rhythm. It's gonna cause inflammation. It's very disruptive for the body. Caffeine? 3 out of 10. Uh, like everything, if you abuse it, it's not gonna be good. I would limit the amount of coffee or caffeine uh, for the earlier part of the day. Uh, why? Because it can have a huge impact on your circadian rhythm and sleep. Um, so that's what I do usually and I have no problem going to bed. Ultra processed foods. 8 out of 10. Uh, it's bad for you. It causes significant inflammation uh, on a cellular level. It disrupts your cell processes. Um, it's just a gut destroyer as well. It destroys your gut biome, which has been linked to anywhere between cognitive function to all the processes uh, of absorption and leaky gut. Excessive alcohol. 10 out of 10. Uh, it destroys your liver, your cardiovascular system. It disrupts sleep. Um, you're not gonna have any REM sleep left. So uh, in every area related to longevity, if you wanna live a long life, alcohol is not gonna fit. Chronic stress. 10 out of 10 as well. Uh, chronic stress causes silent inflammation and it's also a hormone disruptor. So you wanna try to do as much as possible to control your stress. A lot of times that means doing exercises, activities that you love, spending time with your loved ones, and also mindfulness. 